None of us could believe it even happened. It was definitely kind of like a dream. It was a feat that exceeded their expectations. A group of students at Montreal's Concordia University launched a rocket from a remote site in northern Quebec last week, the first launch from Canadian soil in more than 25 years and the first ever achieved by a student team. Star Sailor, a 13-meter liquid fuel rocket, took off just after 5.30 a.m. on August 15th. We fueled it with the, the kerosene, the liquid with oxygen, the helium, it was all ready to go. We hit fire and then the engine lit and it worked. It flew right off the rail. It went, uh, it started soaring in the skies. When the rocket lit, uh, we were both in uh, in the bunker uh, where we kind of controlled the command center for the rockets. As we launched, uh, we just both <laughs> walked out uh, to, to, see, to, to see the launch and uh, see it go up. It was, uh, it was a pretty surreal moment. It was designed and built by Space Concordia, a student society at the university's Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science. More than 700 Concordia students have contributed to the Star Sailor program since it began in 2018. Never before has Transport Canada approved a launch like this in Canada. You know, never before have students actually built a, comp- a rocket so complex. You know, never before have like uh, some groups of students conducted an operation of this scale so remotely and like gone through all the paces. For about a month, the team has been a thousand kilometers north of Montreal, about 250 kilometers north of the Cree community of Mistissini, putting it all together. Working with the local Cree community, uh, setting up the launch tower, building the rocket, um, going through pre-flight checklists. The rocket hit three times the speed of sound and broke apart 23 seconds into its intended 30-second burn. It did not reach space, but they're not yet sure how high it went. We broke apart right as we were hitting the hardest part of the flight. We're not in- entirely sure exactly what altitude. We don't want to. We don't want to say anything uh, until we're like for sure, for sure. The team is now flying drones and surveying the land to recover the pieces. We found one part uh, yesterday when we went hiking, and uh, we're going to be over the next couple of days there. Um, we'll be trying to find the rest of the rockets. We have been designing a second version of this vehicle for a while now, um, and I think the team is all excited to get back to it and uh, to give this guy another throw. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.